Shalom, the Lord bless you. I welcome you in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. You are so different from everyone around them. You're so different from everybody they've met. You're so different from the people they have met. This is what a man said about you. You're so different from the people around them. You're so different from everybody they have met. You're so different from the people who have come close to them. Please, if you're seeing me for your very first time, my name is Ethel Betangba, and this is Prayer and the Prophetic with Pastor Ethel. You are very much welcome in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. You've been family, of course, you know that I love you so much. In my prayer for you, restart the good Lord blesses you. Reward your consistency in the name of Jesus. God bless everybody that is joining the membership. God bless everybody who is renewing the membership. If you're led to join the membership, kindly click on the membership button and become a part of our amazing family. God bless you. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Life has a way of dealing with people. Life has a way of um, answering and responding to people. Now, there are so many people who have a lot they're going through. There are so many people who have encountered people. We are a sum total of the people we have met. What did I say? We are a sum total of the people we have met. You are a sum total of the people you have met. There are people who are acting right now because of the people they have met. They have met. There are people who, whose mindsets became different. There are people whose characters became different. There are people who has made vows. There are people who has made um, resolutions. There are people who have said, I'm never going to do this. All because of the way they were treated by the people they met as well as there are people who are very happy because of the people they've met. There are people who are very joyous. There are people who celebrate all the time because of the people they have met. So every time you see somebody's character, every time you see somebody's behavior, check their backgrounds, check their past check what they're going through and check what they've been through. You cannot just meet somebody and conclude on them, except you understand who they are or what they've been through or what they're going through or their past or their background. There is somebody who is saying right now that they have never met any lady like you. They have never met any girl like you, any woman like you. They have never met somebody with a fine heart like you. And they are willing to spend their entire life with you. They are willing to spend their entire moment with you, Bert. The decision is going to be dependent on you. The decision will depend on you if you're willing to take that road with them or not. Now, let me tell you something. When you've had a past negative experience, you would appreciate the people who are kind and are good to you. If you haven't had that negative experience, you will know a better person. You will not know a good person. There is somebody who has been through a lot of emotional ups and downs. There is somebody who has been through so much emotional disappointment and emotional betrayal. There's somebody who have been through people who always want to take from them. People who want to take advantage from them. People who lie to them. People who deceive them. They have met you and they are saying they haven't met five of you. They haven't met four of you. They haven't met three of you. They haven't even met two of you in their own world, in their own environment. And that is what they are conversing. And they are saying they cannot let you go. Because letting you go will be a big loss and a big loss to them. So this is somebody who is very wise. And this is somebody who is very intelligent. 
when you meet a good woman, never let them go. As well as when you meet a good man, don't let them go. Sometimes the person might not be your choice. Sometimes the person might not be who you want. You know, um, the other day I was saying something. Somebody might be so handsome and so calm, but you don't know why you don't want that particular person and vice versa, beautiful and so calm. But you don't know why you don't want that particular person and you want somebody else. And that's how life is. That's the place nature has put us into. But there are people whom God is going to speak to you himself, accept this person. And there are people whom God is just going to stay silent. So if you get to that place where the Lord speaks to you about somebody, please do not disobey. Especially when God is telling you, say yes to this particular person. Sometimes you might say yes and the person's character change. Probably you said yes just because something was happening at that point in time that the Lord needed you to know, that the Lord needed you to learn. I have come to that reasoning and understanding that the Lord tells you to say yes to somebody might not necessarily mean that this person might end up with you. Probably there's something that you had to learn. Probably there's something you had to go through. And probably, yes, you might still end up with that particular person. The reason I'm saying so is because there are so many people in doubt and confusion if they actually heard God, yes or no. Yes, you heard God if that's the way God always speaks to you or through you. But there is somebody right now who has come not to let you go, who has come not to disappoint you, who has come to stay. Somebody has come to stay. I pray with you and I pray for you that the good Lord is going to help you understand that the good Lord is going to help position your mind that you will not miss this season and these blessings that God has planned and prepared for you. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. God bless you powerfully and God bless you amazingly in the mighty name of Jesus, amen. Please do not forget to like, do not forget to share, and do not forget to subscribe. If you haven't joined this amazing family, what really are you waiting for? Congratulations and thank you for joining. I love you so much and you are very much much welcome in Jesus mighty name amen please do not forget to pray for me always pray for me please call my name in the place of your prayers pray for me always God bless you as you do so in Jesus mighty name amen now may the Lord bless you may he keep you may he cast his face to shine in you may he be gracious to you and may he give you peace the shalom of the Lord nothing missing nothing broken I love you so so much I do I love you so, so much. God bless you amazingly and God bless you abundantly. I love you. Shalom.